Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Our topic for today is bioimaging. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Bioimaging relates to methods that non-invasively visualize biological processes in real time. Bioimaging spans the observation of subcellular structures and entire cells over tissue s up to entire multicellular organisms. Among others, it uses light, fluorescence, electrons, ultrasound, X-ray, magnetic resonance and positrons as sources for imaging. In cell biology, bioimaging can be used to follow cellular processes, quantify ion or metabolite levels and measure interactions of molecules live where they happen. It is helpful in connecting the observation of subcellular structures and all the tissues in the multicellular organisms. Appropriate traces, for example, specific fluorochromes and advanced microscopic instruments such as the confocal laser scanning microscopes, or CLSM, are a prerequisite for most applications. Recent developments in bioimaging include superresolution, two-photon fluorescence excitation microscopy, fluorescence recovery redistribution after photobleaching, or FIAP, and fluorescence resonance energy transfer, or FRET. Within the last few years a strong interaction between molecular biology and bioimaging has led to the design of an increasing number of nanosensors for many ions and metabolites. When expressed or incorporated in cells, these cells become self-reporting for the metabolite in question. Bioimaging aims to interfere as little as possible with life processes. Moreover, it is often used to gain information on the three-dimensional structure of the observed specimen from the outside that is without physical interference. In a broader sense, Bioimaging also includes methods visualizing biological material that has been fixed for observation. In our other video, we have shared applications of carbon dots, which comprising crystalline graphitized carbon cores and polymer surface groups. We highlight that carbon dot research are currently attracting a lot of interest in biological fields owing to their fluorescent properties, high photostability, biocompatibility, and low toxicity. In addition, the easy preparation and functionalization of carbon dots stimulate the development of carbon dots-based composite materials with specific functions. Fluorescence techniques are widely used in biochemistry because of the size of fluorescent probes are comparable with the sizes of antibodies. Recent advances in the field of carbon dot-based bioimaging and summarizes achievements in two broad categories in vitro imaging in terms of the approaches to deliver carbon dot-based probes into different types of cells and vital cell organelles, as well as in vivo applications that focus on distribution and uptake of carbon dots in mice and zebrafish, imaging-guided drug delivery and tumor therapeutics. One key benefit that carbon dots exhibit in their use as fluorescent bioimaging probes is that they are more resistant to degradation than other optical imaging probes. Hence, this type of fluorescent nanoparticles allows the cellular procedure tracking for longer period of time and provide decent contrast for imaging under electron microscope due to an increasing scattering nature. Apart from bioimaging, fluorescent quantum dots have been deployed in various applications such as in biosensing and drug delivery aspects.